Hey, this is Ben. This is the 29th stanza of The Art of Peace. Wait. Wait. I, uh, am using the unstableness of the environment that I'm in to tame my mind. So I'm walking across the top of this wall for no other reason than when I looked up when I got out of my car to go to the gym, it just looked like there was just a really easy path to this environment. And so I just hopped up and began. And so the first thing was taming my mind, and that was dealing with the fear of being up here. I still feel it. It's in my chest. It's like a, it's like a light bulb in my chest, shining, shining and saying, focus in, focus in, focus in. It seems very helpful. Like, it's clearly helping me out. It's not here to pull from me. It's here to be like, hey, hey, stay focused, stay focused, stay focused. So I very, I feel it a lot. And I'm thankful for it. So, anyway, I actually use the environment to bring my mind into presence. From here, there is ground. So I'm on a, I'm on a, ground that is narrow and that makes for certain things. I can't do certain things on a narrow ground that I can do on a full ground or I should say on a narrow ground there's there's variables that aren't present on full ground. So anyway, ground. I just walked up to a light pole the light pole is by my right. I can grab hold of it. It's uh, totally easy. And so now I'm going to grab hold of it with my hand. So now my ground has changed. Once my ground has changed, I can tell right away my perception of how my ground has changed feels more secure. And that gives me more freedom. Now that I feel the greater security, uh, I feel like I can be a little bit expressive. While this is happening, I recognize limiting beliefs, fundamental beliefs coming into my mind. You shouldn't be doing this. People are looking at you weird. Um, so now I'm going to move into choice. And that's just interacting with the moment as fully as I can, as with as much presence as I can. So I'm going to let go of the ground at my right hand. Now while I'm here, I gotta readjust, realign, brand new environment. Feet, tailbone, belly button, heart, throat, top of the head, full breath in. Exhale. Come standing. Boom. All right, this is, this is pretty fun. I feel very inspired up here. Whoa. I like the energy, it feels fun. It's a little bit nerve wracking. All right, I'm at an end. So, whole new environment, gotta get down. I don't wanna just land like a maniac. So, recheck ground. I'm gonna use the wall to support me. land is as much ease as possible. Notice change. So the first thing I notice is I'm walking under this big tree. It's behind a funeral parlor. Big tree. This tree's been here for a long time. Anyway, this huge tree just shed all its leaves and the leaves are like little hot dogs. Little wiener dogs. Carpet, carpet the pavement. Next experience is the breeze. So as I bring my awareness into the breeze, I know I'm bringing my awareness into what's going on right now. Now my mind wants to go out, wants to go into the future, wants to go into the past, wants to go planning. That's just what the mind does not my mind. So if I choose to go out with my mind into planning, into analysis, blah, 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 sure, go ahead. But right now, I'm choosing to bring my mind into presence.
what's going on right now. I feel the temperature at my legs, that weird sound, sound of the car to my left. The, oh, the, the thumping, the thumping. Can you hear that thumping in the background? You could probably understand what it is. Well, it turns out I can't understand what it is because it seems to have disappeared. Anyway, whoosh of the cars. Two cars coming at each other. Hmm. Interesting. My awareness of sound is not as good as I thought. Up, oh, music. Now I am at the gym. So the mindfulness practice hasn't changed. Hey, what's going on? How are you? Fine, thanks. Welcome. Welcome. All right, brand new environment. First thing I notice is it's kind of quiet in here. Thoughts. Now I'm just going down the stairs. Now I'm in an environment that's full of visual moving parts. Every kind of form you can think of. People, machinery, electronics, and then the energy of effort. It's all present too. Hard work. So if you can imagine the energy itself having a particular shade, it's more like red, orange. Not everywhere. Leg press. Under pressure. Under pressure. First things first. Connect to the first moment of resistance. Going to my ground. Feet. Pelvis. Core. Heart space. Throat. Top of the head. Now, I'm going to use my full breath to perceive how I feel in this environment. Now I'm going to set an intention. My intention is to interact with this machine in a way that's informative to the listener. Now, take an exhale and choose to begin. So it's gotten to the point now where I can exert just the right amount of energy to totally feel all of my legs turning on as best as they can in that moment without even moving the weight. So it's like I can pulse my whole leg up, effort in without effort out. Effort goes into the situation but doesn't go out. I'm not trying to move anything, I'm just trying to connect with it more fully. As I'm doing that, I'm thinking about different ways to express that movement through my legs. So typically I start with just pressurizing my feet. Now I'm going to involve the effort into my feet by thinking of spiraling. Spiraling in, the soft tissue wraps around my bones, spiraling in. Pressure, 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 spiraling out. Pressure decreases, pressure decreases, pressure decreases, pressure decreases. Back to the first moment of resistance. All right, now, from that first round, I'm more informed for the second round. I know what to expect. That's what's nice about a gym, is the machines provide a level of consistency. Interacting with consistency is nice for training. All right, second round, here's what I'm doing. I'm, it's, like I'm, it's like I'm making popcorn at my feet. So I'm making popcorn at my feet, little pops, quick pops of effort. It's like I'm vibrating into the machine. Then I go that in my pelvis, maybe flex the buttocks.
Now, as I continue this little popcorning, the sensation is changing everywhere. Oh, I'm starting to vibrate the. Ah. Feel that? It's tricky. It's hard to just give enough effort so that the leg press kind of bounces. You hear that? All right, now engage. So the popcorning kind of gave me like micro moments of intel. Micro intel. And from that micro intel, I knew just how much effort to give this machine. The exact right amount, no more, no less. And by doing that as authentically as I can, I've got a good idea about how easily I can move this thing, and as a result, what I can do with that. So I got plenty of space here. With all this space, absence of pressure, is the, in its place, a sense of confidence, a feeling of, I got this. So now I'm gonna play with it with friendly curiosity. Friendly curiosity, what happens if I do this with my feet. What happens if I do that with my pelvis? Wait, ooh, huh. What happens if I do this with my core? What happens if I do that with my core? What happens if I do this in my heart space? What happens if I do this at my throat space? What happens if I do this in my head? How's my breathing? What happens if I put it all together? Twenty-ninth stanza of the order of peace. All life is a man manifestation of the spirit, the manifestation of love, and the art of peace is the purest form of that principle. A warrior is charged with bringing a halt to all contention and strife. Universal love functions in many forms. Each manifestation should be allowed free expression. The art of peace is true democracy. Pretty cool, huh? King, out.